Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Um, I got some more online purchases in the mail, so I thought I'd do a quick video and show them off uh, for you guys. Uh, the first one that I have here to show is a Spider-Man Special Edition number one. Um, I guess there's a couple of versions of this, uh, one with a poster and one without the poster. This one just so happens to have the poster in it. Um, it was a mail-away comic. Um, I, ended up, I ended up getting this one um, in a online auction for four dollars so i was pretty happy to get that um the next book i got was this uh hulk rate uh raging thunder um hulk versus thundra um picked that one up for four dollars uh it just looked kind of interesting it's a one shot so uh you never know um i picked up this one again hulk number 15 this is the first um appearance of red she hulk so um and i'm getting that one for eight dollars uh so i was really happy to get it for that price um this one is a really cool looking alex ross variant of fantastic four number one um i believe that's a one in 50 variant um i picked that one up for uh four dollars uh this one iron man the coming of the melter this is a variant, I think that's cover B. Uh, it's just uh, got a classic artwork on the cover. So pick that one up. Uh, this one is just a random Spider-Man book. I, I bid like a $2 and won it. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 170. Uh, this I picked up, this is a, I believe this is a Deadpool number 13 <clears throat> variant. Just a really uh, awesome cover with uh, Scarlet Witch and the Vision on there. Uh, got that one for $8. Pretty happy about that one. This, uh, I sh showed some of these in my previous video, I think like a, a month or two ago, but um, these Ace Edition Wizard comics, they do new covers with classic reprints in them. Uh, this is a reprint of X-Men number 94, the first issue with the new um, X-Men team. So uh, saw this and ended up uh, bidding on this and won it for uh, $7. So I was pretty happy about that. This one was just a, um, <clears throat> it's the tribute comic to Len Wein and uh, Dave Cockrum, the uh, tribute to the uh, Giant Size X-Men number one. Uh, I got that one for three bucks. Then this one is another um, like classic artwork cover for as a variant, um, Uncanny X-Men number one with this classic, it's a wraparound cover with the Dave Cockrum uh, art of the new X-Men with the old X-Men. I just thought it was pretty cool. <clears throat> got that one for four bucks too. Uh, this one, I didn't know anything about it, but I really like the cover. I got it for seven bucks. Uh, Daily Bugle Hulk with a classic Savage She-Hulk art on the cover. Uh, this is another cool cover that I <clears throat> wanted to pick up. It's a uh, Midtown Comics variant, uh, Wolverine number one. Just a um, pretty cool looking uh, picture of <laughs> Wolverine. I got that one for $9.00. Uh, this one was pretty sweet. This is a Thanos number 17. This is an homage to the classic Silver Surfer cover where Thor is, is uh, facing off against Silver Surfer. This one has uh, got the Cosmic Ghost Rider versus the Silver Surfer. I uh, got that one for $4.25. Uh, just pick this one up. It's the first appearance of somebody. can't remember who. Um, got it for $3. The Mighty Thor number 459. Pick this one up. This was a really nice, I never, I didn't know anything about this book either, but I really like the cover. Um, and it's Spider-Man 2099 special with the Hildebrandt Brothers painting of uh, good old Miguel on there. Uh, just a pretty cool cover and uh, cool comic for um, like $3.50. Uh, got this Axis number one. Hastings variant. Um, it's not exactly a sketch cover, but just a black and white cover of uh, the villains versus the heroes. Um, just thought it was pretty sweet. I picked it up for three bucks. It's another cool cover. What if Infinity Number One Guardians of the Galaxy 
uh, Rocky Raccoon facing off against Thanos. <clears throat> this is a pretty nice looking cover. This one is a reprint, I believe, of the X-Men annual where they fought Dracula. Um, but I picked up the reprint uh, version for uh, five bucks. And then I also got the companion Spider-Man versus Dracula number one. Um, and I'm getting that this one for three dollars, I think. <clears throat> and that one reprints Giant Size Spider-Man number one. Uh, I got this one for a dollar. He-Man and She-Ra, The Secret of the Sword. I believe they gave this out at the uh, movie theaters when that movie came out back in the 80s. Um, just thought, I don't, and I'm not sure if that's like the second appearance of She-Ra in comics or what, but um, I've, I saw it and I, I, I bid a dollar and I won it for a dollar, so what the heck. Uh, this one I didn't know there was, this was even a thing, um, but the Greatest American Hero comic from Arcana. Um, I picked this one up, number one, and I think I got this for, um, I, I want to say $6. And then um, it's a one, there's a three issue series. And so I was looking around and then somebody else was selling one and two together. So I, I, I already had got that one, but then I ended up getting uh, number one and number two from another person online. And they were selling both of those for $10. So... Um, if I would have just waited, I could have bought both for less money than I paid for one. But, you know, I figured, what the heck. Um, then I got another one of these. I keep buying it every time I see it, but this is a really good price. I got it for, like, I think 20, 25 bucks. Um, the Avengers 83, the first appearance of the uh, Lady Liberators, and the first appearance of Valkyrie. And then also... Um, I got another copy of Defenders number four. This is a really nice, sharp copy. Um, this is when Valkyrie joins the Defenders. I believe that's her third appearance, I think. Um, but that's the lady that really uh, ends up being Valkyrie from that. Because this, this one is the Enchantress, but then this one is the real person that becomes a Valkyrie, I believe. Um, I picked up... Um, Gun Hunting number one, Alex, um, Adam Hughes variant cover. I just thought that was really sharp. I saw everybody was getting this online, so I picked up one for cover price. And then these last three books, you know, I'm, I get so many great deals on these lots that I buy at auction. And I was in, I was in the middle of this auction um, that I'm going to show you these books. And then I got, every once in a while you get caught up in it. And I paid way, probably way more than I should have for them. But, um, the, well, the first one is Power Man number 24. So this is the first Black Goliath. So I didn't go too crazy on this one. I am getting it for $12. It's a really sharp copy. Um, but it's one of those things where you're, you're in the, you're, you're bidding on it, bidding on it. It's, it's a live auction and you just go higher harms. Like you don't want to lose out. And then you finally you know, the auction's over and then you pay more than you should have. But anyway, that's still a pretty good price for that book, I think. Um, the next one I got was uh, this Incredible Hulk 141. This is the first appearance of Doc Sampson. Um, I have a copy of this, or I have a couple copies of this already, but um, I saw it and I was bidding on it. And again, I got caught up on in the auction and kept bidding, bidding, bidding. And Next thing you know, I end up paying uh, $60 for this. So, I mean, you can see there's a big crease in the cover. But, I mean, it's still a pretty good um, price for the book. But, you know, I don't like going that kind of, that price, spending that kind of money on just one book. I'd rather get a whole bunch of books for the price, obviously. Like, who wouldn't? But anyway, so I got that one for $60. I got a little crazy with that. But then I got really crazy with this one. Um... I picked this one up, Beware the Claws of the Cat. Um, again, I have a copy of this already, but I got caught up in the auction. And next thing you know, I ended up spending $75 for this book. I mean, and again, it's a really nice copy. And I mean, that's a, a pretty decent price for it. But I again, I don't really like paying that kind of money for um, single comics, even even if it is brown, Bronze Age um, uh, first issue. But... Anyway, um, just thought I'd share those got those with you, and um, I just uh, 
want to say thanks for watching the video. I appreciate everybody commenting and giving me thumbs up on this stuff. I really like showing off the books that I buy, uh, and I'm glad people are enjoying the stuff that I show off. Uh, and uh, please, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you know when I do uh, new videos. Usually I try and do them like once uh, every couple of weeks or so. Um, or I'll do like a special unboxing video of something, some like uh, comic packs or whatever. But uh, again, just want to thank everybody for supporting the channel. And I hope everybody has a great day. And thanks again for watching. And I'll talk to you all later. Take it easy. Bye.